Is it the case, though, that, say, just the core DNA home testing part maybe has slowed down the growth there as it gets more saturated? And of course, that's why, in part, why you're looking to grow in these areas you just discussed, right? Well, it's interesting. There was, there was a time period where it was absolutely raining ancestry kits. And there was a, an explosion of um, everyone. It was on, you know, um, like Saturday Night Live. It was on, you know, celebrities were dressing up like 23 new kits. Like it was just, um, it, was, it was, we really hit a cultural moment where people started talking about their, like their ancestry um, was just, um, it, it was a whole new way of thinking about identity. And one thing I look at is even in this recent census, and there were some of the reports out there about how people, there was this radical jump in the number of people who identifies as being, um, you know, multiracial. And, you know, a lot of that was attributed to being coming from genetic testing. So I think it, it, it there was absolutely an explosion there. I think at the same time, we did get hit by things like Cambridge Analytica and the questions on privacy. And there were um, all kinds of reports out, oh, and Golden State Killer. There was all kinds of questions about like, just exactly where's your data going? And I think that there was a very natural slowdown just across the board of everyone taking a step back and saying like, I wanna understand. That said, we've seen a lot of recovery. Frankly, things like um, COVID have really reignited people's interest in health and we have always, like one thing that we have always done research on, the health market is far larger than the ancestry testing market. And so there is a huge, again, thinking back also, which is what I started talking about with, with what Francis Collins said, that statement about the, the opportunity for really changing all of care, all the ways that you, you know, predict, prevent, and treat human disease, all that opportunity is there. And it's just a matter of time before that becomes a reality. I think if you ask any medical professional, everyone says there's absolutely a world where everyone is sequenced at birth. But the path to get from today to that moment in time is undefined. And frankly, that's one of the things that 23andMe is doing is we are actually the ones defining that path.